Okay, have you ever wondered how people get procedural textures to show up on meshes? A procedural texture is a texture that appears on a mesh and it's very unified. Uh, it stretches across the mesh and it actually makes, makes perfect sense. Uh, leather on a jacket, this is a good um, procedural texture. Uh, some kind of weird plastic is another um, texture that would be very uh, procedural. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Okay, so tool, load tool, and let's go to the demo soldier. He has a t-shirt. Now this works with shirts, jackets, whatever. Uh, clothing, for example. And let's go to his subtools, and let's. I just want his jacket. So if I hold shift and click on that area. Okay, now I want to import a texture that I have in here. Uh, if you want a texture, I would highly suggest you go scan one, or you can use a 100 millimeter lens on a camera. Uh, still, I would scan one because that way you don't get any flash or anything else into the material. Okay, so there we go. Now, in order to get it on a t-shirt, he has to have UVs, so texture, enable UVs, colorize, hold shift, make sure it's absolutely snapped, and hit planar UVs. It's going to cry about the level, so I'm going to divide it down, and then do the UV. Okay, so now, let's give it some levels. Seven. More you have, the better. Okay, this isn't to scale, and this is the hard part because, you know, if, if it's not to scale and it's got good resolution, to make it to scale, let's put a 2 here and a 2 here. Now you can go as high as what you want. And you can see that's a much better fit for this shirt. So it's kind of, yeah. I don't know anybody that wears a vinyl shirt around like that, but that's cool. Okay, now, uh, we can't keep it like this. We have to burn it within the surface of the mesh. And here's how we do it. Okay, so document. I'm going to clear all here. Document. And this is a Z app link. I'm going to go front. There's front and back. And I'm going to go into Z app link and hit OK. Okay, so there it is in Photoshop. Now I'm going to go back and say OK unchanged. Now to fool the system, I'm going to first turn off the texture. Okay, next, make sure colorize is on. Make sure you set these back down to one. Okay, now let's go to document. Oh, well, one more thing. Let's turn it to a fast shader five. And while we're at it, let's color fill object. There we go. So document, Z app link, hit okay. It's gonna go into Photoshop and say, well, do you wanna update? Hit cancel. Hit File, Save As, Temp Z App Link Export, hit Save, hit Yes, wait two seconds, go back, and return to External Editor. So for some reason you have to do this twice, I don't know why. Temp Z App Link Export, hit Yes, hit OK, back to ZBrush, re-enter ZBrush, hit Accept with Fade Off. and accept with fade off. Okay, so there we go. A procedural texture that stretches across the item and it's to scale. Uh, you have a little bit of a seam, but nothing that you can't do a little bit of a clone uh, using Projection Master and the clone tool. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's all I have. I just want to cover that and enjoy.